Компас, компас, я Фредди, подтверджую Фурсика. Впало на край. Да. После пуска ЗРК Стрела-10 нашли БПЛА. Сбила Стрела-10 Орион. Орион. Вот он догорает. Втори. Який не стрелял. Камера сгоревшая. Крыло. Розмах крыла. Стрела 10 сбыла Орион. Компас, компас, я Фредди, подтверджую Фурсика. Впало на край. Да. После пуска ЗРК Стрела-10 нашли БПЛА. Сбила Стрела-10 Орион. Орион. Вот он догорает. Втори. Який не стрелял. Камера сгоревшая. Крыло. Розмах крыла. Стрела 10 сбыла Орион. Ukrainian attacks continue to degrade Russia's military capabilities in the occupied Crimean Peninsula. The UK's Defense Ministry reported on social media citing intelligence data. The report mentioned a recent attack by the Ukrainian army on a maritime oil terminal in Feodosia. On the 7th of October, the Ukrainian military attacked the terminal, the largest on the peninsula used for trans-shipping oil products for the Russian occupiers. Earlier in March, this terminal was struck by Ukrainian drones, according to British intelligence. They also noted that in 2024, Ukrainian strikes on Crimea targeted air defense systems, airfields, command centers, naval and logistical facilities, and the Kirsch Strait crossing. Ukrainian attacks continue to incrementally degrade Russia's military capabilities on the Crimean Peninsula, the UK Defense Ministry concluded. After the Ukrainian strike on the maritime oil terminal in Feodosia, the fire was extinguished after nearly seven days. The invaders set up mobile refueling stations, which changed locations to avoid further Ukrainian attacks. The Russian High Command ordered fuel stations to remain in one location for only 12 hours. Earlier, British intelligence wrote that Russia was covering the Crimean Bridge with a physical barrier, air defense forces and a range of other means, hoping to protect it from further Ukrainian attacks. Russians are reportedly constructing a new structure parallel to the Crimean Bridge running alongside the main bridge. Actually, this is another bridge, though its purpose remains unclear. This is according to the Crimean Wind Telegram channel. The post notes that piles are being transported on ships and barges and driven into the seabed to establish the structure. In addition, Russia is said to be intensifying security efforts for the illegal bridge structure, including installing metal towers on Tuzla Island adjacent to the bridge, outfitted with platforms for anti-aircraft systems. Sergei Aksyonov, the so-called head of Russian-occupied Crimea, has proposed replacing the term new regions, which Russians use for occupied territories of Ukraine with historical regions, claiming that these lands have always belonged to Russia. Aksyonov argued that these territories were part of the Russian Empire and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and therefore should not be called new. The rhetoric from Kremlin collaborators is yet another attempt to justify the annexation of Ukrainian lands and attempts to erase Ukraine's historical and cultural heritage. Maneuvering battles are currently taking place in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. This was reported in a commentary to Channel 24 by retired Ukrainian Armed Forces Colonel, Instructor Pilot and military expert Roman Svitan. He explained that maneuver battles mean the absence of fortifications on the front line. At the same time, according to the expert, maneuver operations cannot be carried out without good communications. Great responsibility falls on the means of communications, control, movement, constant monitoring of the location so as not to come under friendly fire. And the Russians have a big problem with this. 
We have serious electronic warfare systems operating in this direction. Our communications, thanks to our partners, are resistant to Russian electronic warfare. We successfully manage our troops, but the Russians cannot do this. Therefore, Russian units very often come under attack from CAB, MLRS, and Army artillery. That is, they destroy themselves, and few people talk about this. Only Russian bloggers whine that they come under attack in various places, Svitan noted. He also said that the Ukrainian armed forces carried out a spectacular and effective strike on the occupiers' training ground in Zaporizhia. Ukrainian defenders are mainly using M30A1 missiles. At the same time, according to Svitan, aiming is required, which is done with the shark reconnaissance complex, which hangs for a certain time and can quite accurately guide the missile, transmitting the target coordinates. It reconnoits the target, adjusts fire if necessary, that is, it is used as a means of operational control. Such a strike allows covering an area the size of a football field, in particular in Zaporozhye, they covered a training ground and landing site. Valery Ryabik, a Ukrainian military expert, indicated that the Kursk operation is already producing the planned results. The Kursk operation is ongoing. Analysis indicates that the operation is achieving the planned results. The rules of engagement have already been established for the Russian aggressor and we have intercepted the initiative on one of the directions, Ryabik noted. According to the military expert, Ukraine can now operate more freely on Russia's territory, ensuring that the fighting does not move to the territory of Sumy and Chernihiv regions as planned by the Russian aggressors. The military expert further emphasized that the Kursk operation, which is now producing positive results, signifies that the Ukrainian armed forces are successfully fulfilling one of their primary objectives, the systematic dismantling of Russia's potential under conditions that are more favorable for them than those imposed by Russia in eastern Ukraine.